What's going on everybody? Welcome back to OK So with Guapo. Today we are doing a provolone cheese. It's uh, from Boar's Head. It's the Picante Provolone. I'm going to turn this camera around so you guys can see. Alrighty guys, like I said, this is a Picante Provolone cheese from Boar's Head. So we're going to check this bad boy out. It smells it's super sharp, so I'm very excited to see and taste this. Let's go check it out. Alrighty guys, so welcome back. So we're gonna, we just let this chill and won't we'll chill, get warm, warmed up to room temperature, about 35 minutes. Again, this is a picante provolone cheese from Boar's Head. Very pungent, it's got a very strong and sharp aroma to it. You know, it's, it's something if you like, you know, it's something with a lot of flavor, but it's not too funky. So let's start, cut right into it. I'm gonna cut two slices. I'm just gonna get them slices of it. <laughs> All right, let's try it out. All right, so we got the picante provolone cheese. It was aged over six months from Boar's Head. It's not the most picante. All right, so it's it's got like a sharpness to it. It's definitely a sharp alone. Um, I've definitely had sharper, <laughs> so sharp where my mouth blisters. Kind of like it. <laughs> Not that my mouth blisters, but just the sharpness of it. It's a good, it's a good mild sharp cheese if that makes sense. Um, it's excellent to have on a cheese, <clears throat> excuse me, on a cheese board next to maybe a. A cheddar if you're going to mild, mild to wild uh, cheese board rule uh, it's a good it, you know it's good middle cheese I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't say this is a bad cheese I, I or say they did a good job you know uh, there's a lot of more independent cheese places out there that give you a more longer aged provolone that gives a more sharper taste to it that I prefer but for some of the mainstream and you can just buy it for a little you know, shop right or Acme, I think Borsa did a great job. And, you know, I gotta give it off to them. You know, this is one of their, my favorite, that's probably my favorite Borsa product, to be honest. Um, not saying Borsa is bad, but just, this is one of my most go-to Borsa products that I would choose. Um, if I would choose a wine to do this with, I would go maybe with a I'll go with, with a, with probably a, maybe a Zippendale or, I'm trying to recollect the flavor. Zippendale or Chardonnay, giving a nice balance to it. Um, I would go, I wouldn't go with the honey on a cheese board for this. Maybe some dry apricots. Walnuts, even a pear or a green apple, I think would pair real well with this. Just to counteract the extreme flavors of it, I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna give myself another slice of it. Um, yeah, Boar's Head has a whole bunch of products. You know, you know one of the biggest. Cold cut companies in the world, and cheese is a cold cut. But this is, they did a good job with this one. Bravo to Borset. All right, guys, I'll see you next week on O Queso with Guapo.